Hello, my name is Andrew Woodward. I'm Principal Consultant for 21 Apps Limited. Um, we're going to give you a demo that we did at a recent SharePoint User Group uh, UK meeting in Telford. Um, we're going to take the form that we created in a previous demo and um, we're going to make this available um, in a web part. Everything you need to put InfoPath forms into a web part is available. If you've got form services and you browser enable your forms as we did previously then then everything you've, you need is available to you. First thing we need to do um, is make the control available. Um, you'll see InfoPath uses the microsoft.office.infopath.server.dll and that's located in the Office Server's 12 bin directory. Um, if we go to our web.config file, what we're going to do is put a standard um, and again here's one I did earlier. Uh, standard save control. Um, we use the, again as you said, the InfoPath server um, assembly. The version and the public assembly name are the same as the standard SharePoint control, so it's fairly straightforward. Um, the namespace is just controls within that DLL. Um, we want to use the XML form view um, and type safe is true. So we're going to save that one first. And again, that should recycle my app pool. But if it doesn't, what we'll do here just to be on the safe side and warm it up is we'll use um, the nice arbor.net application recycling tool. Um, we'll go back to our SharePoint site now. So the first thing we want to do is make this uh, available to the web part gallery. So again, it slight delay while it recycles. Here we go, this should be fine. So in our galleries list, we go to web parts. Okay, we're going to do new. And there you go, we've got the XML form view available to us. So we'll populate that into our web part gallery. We scroll down, we can see that our new web parts available called XML form. Well, what we're going to do now is actually put that onto a page. Um, I previously created a, a simple pages library and added a, a web part page that uses the whole, the whole screen. So if we go edit page, add web part, and we didn't set any of the configuration around this web part so it would exist in the miscellaneous section. Um, XML form view. Okay, we either get this error, which is the form has been closed because I've done that previously, or we get a different error um, in this example where it would come up and say there's an error because we haven't actually configured this web part. So it's actually given us error at the moment. Um, what we'll do here is say contents equals one. We want to go in this. Um, we're going to close this part, go back to the web part page, edit page, now this is a bit of a, a workaround but effectively in order to get to the, the edit control we're going to re-add the web part so there will effectively be two of them and it will give us a different error and then we can actually go through and edit the properties and delete the original one. Um, normally you would only get you'd get a different error message that would take you straight into design mode. So in here we want to set some properties. So these are the key bits in this web part. So the features we're going to show header, show footer. Um, we want editing status and data binding. We need to put an XSN or an XML location and then a safe location. We can only have either an XSN or an XML. We can't have both. I'll show you a quick tip as to getting at this information quickly. If we go to the forms library that I'm interested in, click new. So this is standard SharePoint opening uh, an InfoPath form server form in the browser. Everything we need is in the, the URL. So we'll go into notepad. Okay, so all the information we're after is in here. So the XSN location. We don't want to copy all of that all the way along to here and the save location. Now, the save location we're going to have to 
just get rid of the URL encoding. Slash sites. Feedback. Okay, so the XSN is the first item that we'll look at, and that, that'll tell us what form we're interested in. Sorry, if I go back to here. So I'm going to put that in the XSN location, and then the save location, as we got here. That's the library that we're going to save that in. And again, we'll save that in there. Oh. Did I not copy that? Try that again. There we go. If we apply that, there we go. Exit edit mode. And there you have it. Standard form made available in SharePoint as a web part.